<clears throat> excuse me. Are you, you're charged. Tommy, it's been a hot minute since we've said hello. I didn't know if our battery would be charged. Good morning, guys. How are you? It is quarantine week three or four, and I wanted to say hi and show you what we've been up to. The boys are playing a little Nintendo. You have your puppy dog spot? Yeah. Hi. I've seen such a huge growth with you over the last few weeks. You even woke up this morning. It's 7.03. And I said, I think you turned into a man. He woke up with a scent. That's crazy. How many dogs do you have, Jackson? Uh, two. What are their names? Uh, Penny and Copper. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, is that okay? Yes. How many dogs do you have? Three. Three. What are their names? Penny, Papa, and Spot. <gasps> Copper? We've not introduced Copper yet. Yeah, we need it. Let's go get him and we'll introduce him. Tommy, look. Say dog. Dog. Dog? dog? Say Penny? And Copper? Ooh. Tell me everything you love about him. I love him. About, I, I play with him, and I love about holding him, and I love about feeding him, and I love about hugging him and kissing him. That's all. I love that he runs so cute and he, that he's so small. Yeah, he's so fluffy. And that he likes me, that's funny. Yeah, he is such a sweet little puppers. <laughs> All right, so we got Copper a few weeks ago and we named him Copper. We thought it was really pretty with Penny, Penny and Copper. And we'll talk about their little relationship in a minute. But Copper is a petite golden doodle. He will weigh about 12 to 15 pounds, but he is very sweet. Like he's very calm right now because <laughs> he, he was sleeping for a little bit, but he's been such a sweet puppy and him and Penny get along so well. When Jared and I got married, we always talked about getting two dogs. We wanted a yellow lab and a black lab. And we originally wanted a black lab. And we were shocked when we found Penny because we just fell in love with her and we knew that she was the dog for our family. And it's interesting over the years how, um, you know, our situation, our life, everything looks different. And Copper, it's like Penny's our family dog. I love Penny. Jared loves Penny. But Penny definitely like has attached herself to Jared. And it's been really fun over the last three weeks. A copper's grown so much, but he's really attached himself to me. And I really love that. He's like my dog. And it's just, he's really sweet. He loves to just like be with me. And I kind of love that. Like he'll cuddle with the kids, but if I come in the room, he leaves and he comes and sits at my feet. And it's, he's just been really sweet. His temperament has been very calm, which is really interesting because I'm not used to that with lab puppies because I have had a lab my whole life. He's been pretty calm and he's been really good with the kids. He does bite because he's teething and he's just a puppy, but um, he hasn't bit down hard and he like his jaw like he, I can tell he's being soft, um, but that's obviously something that will hopefully go away when his, you know, teething mouth doesn't hurt and stuff. But he's been so sweet. I, I'm really excited to introduce him. Honestly, I haven't even really introduced him on my Instagram. We just started posting pictures and he happened to be in it. I haven't been like, this is our dog. It just, I don't know, it's just kind of been different. Like I didn't want it to be this huge like, we got a puppy, but um, but yeah, I wanted to make a vlog and, and show you guys him and he's brought like a lot of joy into our family's life and him and Penny just love each other so much. And I wanted to introduce him without Penny in the room because 
it would be really chaotic if I brought her in. So I wanted to introduce and say hi before we brought Miss Penny in. But you wanna know what? I think who loves him the most? Who do you think loves him the most? Me. I think you love him the most. He loves Copper. Like, if I can't find Calvin, it's because he found Copper. Huh, you're very loved. Okay, mister, you want a drink? I should probably pick up the house, but. You want more? We're just kind of free reigning it today. Look, there's 100 plates and 100 spoons. Choose whatever color you would like today. One of my favorite smells ever is sweet pea. And Jared got me this candle a long time ago and I finally ran out of some other candles and so I'm gonna light it. Do you like it? I love it. You love it? Jared loves cucumber melon. I love sweet pea, it's so good. Also the volcano candles smell amazing too. But oh, come over here, sit right here and you can practice it. Um, we. You don't have to, but I wanted you to sit right here so I could see you. So Jackson's gonna help light this. And remember you don't tilt it up. Keep it on the side, nope, don't tilt it up. Oh, let's try it again. Do you wanna do it again or no? How do you do that? I try. But I can't. So we did a fire the other day and Jackson learned how to start the fire so when I was lighting this candle, he wanted to try. When you light it, don't hold it up. Yep, hold it to the side. And then you just hold the light right here. I was moving this, trying to help, but I won't do that this time. Okay. Now side, right here. One, two, three, now throw it in the sink. <laughs> or you blow it off. Aw, I didn't. Should we try it again? Mm. Let's try it one, third time's the charm. And this is, what, this is what we're gonna do. Instead of throwing it, because what if it, you threw it and it caught fire? And then it started a huge fire, that's not smart. Well, it scared Yep, I don't blame it you. It's hot. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is if you light it and you start to feel scared, Go and blow it out. Okay. We don't want to throw it. Okay? So if you start to feel scared, we blow it out. Okay. Well, how do I know I do that, but I... It didn't light. Let's try it one more time, and maybe it'll light. Yeah. It lit. Now blow it out. Oh, you're good. Nope, you're, I would rather you drop it. Wait, 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 I'll pick it up. You blow it out. Good job! Now our candle is lit. Do you like trying and practicing? Yeah. Yeah. I get scared sometimes. I don't. Because it's, it's I fire. It is fire. It's scary. I don't blame you. We're learning. We're learning how to light matches and start fires in our fire pit. This is a good time to let kids practice with a candle. Good job, Jackson. Say nap time. Is it Bedtime. Is it You're getting to be so big, kid. Here's your water. We were gonna take his binky away, but then quarantine came, and I realized, nah, let's just not uproar our life right now and take your binky away. But eventually we will, huh? It's starting to break anyway. You're slowly, I think this is your last one. Yep. Let's take a nap, okay? Okay, can you close your eyes? Don't huff. He goes, when he gets mad. Close your eyes. It's time for bed. Okay, I'm gonna put you in your crib, okay? Okay. You don't cry, you'd be happy. Yeah? I've been rocking Tommy every day for the last three weeks for his naps. And he falls asleep really quick. And then at night, I rock him only for a minute and then I lay him in his crib while he's awake. 
And I always say, okay, don't cry. Mom's gonna lay you down and I'm gonna walk out. And he goes, okay. Because um, it's just, maybe it's his age, but he's just starting to be like, no, 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 don't leave. So I kind of prep him and it works. He like listens. Okay. Okay. But you gotta close your eyes right now. Because it's bedtime. Can you close your eyes? Turn the camera off and turn the lights off and we'll rock. Okay? Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, I still have a little bit of a beard, but you don't care about that. We're actually gonna talk about it later. Easter is right around the corner, and for the past little while, it is tomorrow, that's exactly right. But for these guys, Easter has already happened. So, we are going to do another fun Easter activity, and I'm in the middle of getting it ready to go right now. You may remember the last time we did this, filling up eggs with paint. So for the past little while, when we've had breakfast, we've been taking the yolk out of the egg and then saving it in this container so we can do this activity. So I have some eggs right here, and I'm almost done filling it up with the paint. Do you boys remember when we did this last year? Two years ago? Two years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I like we. So fun. It was, and guess what, boys? That is Copper. He's our new puppy, huh? We've had him for a few weeks now. We still have the paintings that you guys did with these when you get when we last did it. Okay, I'm gonna finish these up. Hopefully, while Tommy's still asleep, cross your fingers, and then we're going to go outside and uh, throw the eggs at the canvases. You guys ready for this? The can what? Canvases. What are canvases? They are those right over there. This already brings back so many memories. We had these set up last time. Hey bud, are you excited? So we have no. six colors. Didn't last time you put strand wrap over it? On the bottom I did, so it doesn't leak through. But on the top, I fed, we had so many that didn't break last time. I thought that when you throw it though, paint will fly. Yeah, well not, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see what happens. Jackson, pick your canvas. Do you want this one or this one? That one. Okay, oh, Calvin's going for it. Hard as you can. Hey! Looks like you can do it a couple times. You can do it again too. That's fun. Look at you Bob Ross is going. It's a good thing this is washable paint, I right? <laughs> oh, I need a penny. Oh, I was penny. trying to put him away, but then I accidentally squished Copper's tail. Oh, oh no. You can go get it. Go get it. Try it again. He was mad. Oh, Calvin. Penny over here. Penny. Very, very penny. abstract. Oh, Penny. Oh, no. Okay, this is why we wanted I'm the dogs sorry. inside. Let's pause, let's okay, freeze. Daddy has to put the doggies. Penny, come here. Come here, Penny. Oh, no. Penny, come here. Come on. Come here, Penny. Come here, Penny. <laughs> Ellie. Okay, I thought my stuff was bad. Nope, Ellie's the one who's in trouble right now. Oh, we'll wash that out, Penny. Don't worry. Is everyone good now? Yeah. We all good, guys? Sorry about that. Okay. Now look, this is serious art. We don't mess around. We don't have dogs running all over the place. We have to be serious about this. Create your masterpiece. I'm gonna call you Robert Ross. I'm gonna call you Bobby Ross. Let's do this, Ross kids. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> nice! Okay, Calvin, your turn. Oh, <laughs> try again. <laughs> <laughs> How funny was that? <laughs> you can still use it. It's still good. Yeah! There you guys go. Is there any more eggs you can use? Salvage them a little bit? Good job. Oh, Jackson, that one's good. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, great. This is. Tr oh, yep. Definitely turning out to be. More interesting than I thought. Whatever that's... you want your painting to be, kid. Yeah, that's gonna, oh, and he's still going. He's not stopping. Fantastic. Great job, Calvin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if you want to, go for it. Do a little bit. You can do a flat tail. I love to correct. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> Calvin is funny like that. He will have he like the wittiest funny. quick comments every once in a while and it comes out of nowhere. Hey, hey. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay, let's clean up. Well, while I was cleaning up, Calvin finished his. What do you think, buddy? And it's finished. Do you have a name for yours? Uh, I'll call it Bob. Bob. Bob the grape painting. It looks like a big grape to me, doesn't it? But I'm sure there's some underlying meaning that the artist has presented in the painting that we have to discover on our own. Bob, Bob, and Jackson, Bob, Bob. look at yours. You decided to go the same artistic approach that Calvin did, didn't you? It looks like a rainbow. It kind of does, doesn't it? Good job, guys. Okay, let's let these dry and then we'll compare them to the, the one we did last time. The kids have had their bath. We're all cleaned up. Penny got a bath and I have to say, boys, she was probably a little bit better behaved in the bathtub than uh, the boys were. It, I mean, that's just Penny for you. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. And you boys are crazy. You know that? You're crazy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so right now we're having a little bit of lunch. Ellie is making some macaroni and cheese. I Can I make a formal request for Jackson please, really wants to make everyone know he really didn't do anything. <laughs> you were a good boy. Jackson was a good boy in the bathtub. Okay, Ellie, I need to make a request about this macaroni and cheese. What? Okay, can you please stand here so you? I know you're listening to me. You're as bad as the kids are. Okay, please, can you not add so much milk so it's like soupy? And can you please not add so much pepper so it's like sneezy? Milky, no, no, no. Runny, no, 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 no. Cheesy, like yes, 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 yes. Okay, can, that, can you do that? Or at least I'll try. add milk to yours after the fact. I'll try, I can't promise. Okay, thank you. There's just something about runny macaroni and cheese that is not good, and I don't know why Ellie loves it so much, but she does. It's soupy, I love the soupy. Did you, that doesn't look too bad. Did you already mix I like all it. of it? Soupy, 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 soupy. Oh, oh, soupy, soupy. oh, Ellie, we have to be careful with how much milk. We don't go to the grocery store all that often anymore. We can't waste all of the milk for your soupy, soupy mac and cheese. I'm not gonna deprive myself of this. <gasps> oh. I made yours, you're welcome. Did you make mine separate? I'm nice. You are nice, thank you so much. This looks really, really great. I wish it was soupier. I was gonna say, that doesn't look very soupy compared to your normal soupiness. you ruined it for me. <laughs> Jared Meekum, ruining meals in the Ellie and Jared household since 2009. Isn't that right? I like it soupy. I like it soupy, soupy, soupy. After all the things that Ellie has thrown away in our house, I am so surprised. <laughs> Are you laughing? It was fun. I am so surprised that we still have our paintings from Easter all those years ago where we did the egg toss at it just like we did today. I, for the life of me, cannot remember whose is whose, so you might have to go back and tell me. To be honest, I think that one's Jackson's. The first one? Yeah. This one's Jackson's? Yeah, I could think that one's Calvin's. This is probably Calvin's, because one, it's green, two, it, it's the only one with fingerprints or finger yeah, painting exactly. on it. And then these must be ours. Yeah. That's a pretty good deduction, Ellie. Yeah. Hey, boys, would you like to come and see your original egg art paintings that we did a couple years ago? What do you think? These are the old ones that we did before. Oh, nice roll. <laughs> That's how Calvin gets around. Calvin gets around by rolling around everywhere. He really, really does. What do you guys think? Um, I, is this from mine? Yeah, that's what mom thinks too. Is this from mine? Mm, I don't know. I think it could be this one because there's lots and lots of green. But you can pick whatever one you want. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this one is mine. Okay. Okay, should we go get the ones that we did today and see what they look like after they've dried? Yeah. All right. On the count of three, ready? No, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Okay, now are you ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Now presenting. Oh, Calvin has his own theme music. Good job. Those look amazing. Those look so good. Calvin, I love the purple with the pink on the edge. Guys, that looks great. That does look good. That's amazing, I love it. Good job, boys. You did so good. While we were looking for the other Easter paintings, I did find when Ellie and I did the Bob Ross tutorial. This is my painting from the Bob Ross 
uh, video. I think we made a video on YouTube about it, but this was like one of our funnest dates that we've ever done was following a Bob Ross video. So let us know if you guys would like to see that again because Ellie and I had a blast doing that. For the past few months, I have been growing out this beard and trimming it every once in a while. Honestly, there's not a lot to trim. There are some parts of my beard which grow in pretty well, but other parts that are very patchy and like don't grow in very well at all. Ellie took it upon herself to order me some hair filler. So if you are thinning like on the top of your head or your beard or anywhere, you put this on and it fills it up, supposedly. Instant hair filler. This is medium brown. And I thought I would put it on my face in my thin spots and just see what it looks like and get Ellie's reaction to it. I was reading the directions and it said, style hair as usual, apply to dry hair, shake onto your thinning areas. It's gonna be hard on my beard. Slightly pat between shakes to receive maximum coverage. Finish with locking spray. I don't have locking spray, so I wonder what this is going to be like. Is it setting spray? Oh, geez. Oh, it like smells like like Vicks Vapor Rub. That's so weird. It's just a can. I wonder if I like have to like put my face down and then shake it on, or if I can put it in my hand. See what it looks like. Oh, it's like a powdery fiber. I'm nervous to do this. All right, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Oh, I freaking out. No, 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 I'll keep going. I can't tell if I'm doing like way too much or not. 11 minutes later. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I think it's pretty ridiculous. Here we go, the full reveal. <laughs> I am doing something wrong. I, Ellie, this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever done in my life. Okay, are you ready to see it, Ellie? Yeah. It's, it's like eyebrow filler. It's almost like you just need a little. It's not gonna be bad when I help you. You mean I can't do that? <laughs> look, 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 oh look. my gosh, it's Ellie. Like, okay, but how many times have I done this where I've gone to bed and I just want, like, want to fill my eyebrows? Extra I have no just to idea. Try? Well, are you saying like go to bed and fill your eyebrows in or just like, Oh, I should try this before I go yes, to bed. Okay. Because then I can wash my face. Yeah. Honestly, it's going to be good. It you just it's like How can you say that this is going to be good? Look at my face. I can tell with the color it's going to be good. I'm going to help you next time. I can tell it will be good. Here's the thing though, you Ellie. Just overdid it. No, it's going to be good. <gasps> is it wiping off? Yeah, it wipes right off. Do you see not see that giant like Ew. It just comes right off. Okay, well, I ordered another one, so we'll try that. <laughs> Look at your face. Well, now I'm like, crap. Why didn't it come with the setting spray? I, I don't know. Guys, I don't, I just don't think the beard is for me. Honest to goodness, that looks so, it doesn't even match my hair color all that shave. well. I should shave. Let's just shave. I'm just going to shave. Let's try it one more time, though. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Guys. Let me know, keep the beard, shave the beard, or add more of this stuff. That's what I wanna know. Do you think I should add more to it? Anyway guys, thanks for coming back and joining with us. We might have a video here or there for the next little bit. El, you know, we're, we've been talking about it and I think we Just, might do- I feel a lot better. Like I have a whole video that I wanna sit down because it's our birthday month. Yeah. And just like, it's been, Three and a half months. Yeah, almost. Well, it's been four full months. We stopped December 31st, January 1st, and we've made like one or two videos in between there. Right? It felt really good to like, this morning I was like, I want to film this. Like the kids, like I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just have a lot to say, but. Good. Well, I was thinking about it today and with our podcast, with Instagram stories, 
I don't feel like I'm necessarily talking to someone. On the podcast, I'm, I'm talking to Ellie, I'm talking to guests. On Instagram stories, I'm kind of just showing what's happening that second. But with these vlogs, I feel like I'm talking to you, talking to someone specific. So, uh, sometimes I think of viewers that I've met over the course of seven years and I picture you specifically when I'm talking to you. And I think that's what's special about vlogging is that I feel like I'm having a conversation with you rather than just talking at you. So I know it's kind of one-sided on the video, but that's where comments and other things on Instagram and Twitter are a lot of fun. But we're excited to have some more videos come your way. And with that being said, thanks for watching this one. We've missed you guys and we'll catch you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Things I've ever done. Why would I have done that? Oh, look, it's all over my hands. My brothers can grow beards. Why can't I grow beards?